Hello, Cross Church. I'm Kenny Cutter, one of your elders, and I'm here with this morning's Monday devotional. In my last devotional, we spoke of the characteristics of God that deliver us from who we tend to be. Those characteristics were that God knows us, knows everything about us, that God cares about what he knows about us, that God is willing to act on those things, and that God is able to make a change in our lives. We looked at scriptures that attest to these characteristics. The one that sticks out in my mind is Psalm 139, which goes into a very detailed description of God's knowledge of us. This week, I, I would like to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, which say, Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. The Greek word for comfort is parakaleo, which can be translated to, to counsel, to comfort, to console, to encourage, to urge or to appeal. I think we would all really like to have Paracleo when we are in a tough spot. However, it is really important to qualify and understand where your help comes from. Those who have a limited knowledge of us can give us limited help. This kind of comfort may be, may be better described as sympathy, which feels good, but may weaken us rather than strengthen us and tends to be a short-term feeling that we get. On the other hand, the one who has unlimited knowledge of us will provide unlimited comfort in times of trouble. His comfort is based on his truth, which is the only truth. Because he knows everything about us, we will receive exactly what we need to move forward in life. The truth will set us free and provide us with a power from El Shaddai, our God Almighty, our scripture also says that we can comfort others with the same comfort that we ourselves have received because that comfort is from the same source. Scripture tells us over and over again that we are to love one another. Or in other words, we receive God's love and in return, we reflect that love to others. To comfort someone is to love them. It's as if the Father wants us to be a conduit of his good gifts. How great is this, that we would receive his blessings, give them to others, and in turn receive more. In closing, I would like to encourage you to go to our Father of comfort when you need help and when you are thankful. The world does not offer comfort filled with truth. The world offers comfort filled with something else. Please pray with me. Our Father God, we thank you for being our good Father. 
Help us to understand the comfort that you offer to us and want us to share with others. Father, you are where our help comes from. You are the Almighty. We love you and we praise you. And it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. Church, please have a great week and know that I love you all. Thank you.